What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a mere ride on Iron Leaves and Palmot team for ranked regulation G. Now when it comes to me ride on this Pokemon pairs up perfectly with Iron Leaves and Palmot. This is due to Iron Leaves having Cork Jive as his ability and an Electric Seed as his item. Palmot can pair up with Miradon for multiple different reasons, but its main reason is going to be Volt Absorb. We can pair it up next to Miradon. Miradon can then choice spec into Discharge, do some big time damage, and at the same time heal up Palmot. Miradon also has the Hadron Engine as its ability with Volt Switch, Dragon Pulse, Electro Drift, and Discharge, and the Electric Terror type for its moveset. This thing can hit like a truck. You're going to be seeing us use it all day today. Now let's talk about Iron Leaves. We already mentioned that it has Cork Drive and Electric Sheets, but what I didn't mention is it has Sword Stance. Sword Stance will allow us to go plus two on attack, making Leaf Blade and Side Blade pretty much one shot any single Pokemon. Palma is in our third slot with Volt Absorb and the Focus Hash, Rock and Fake Out, Close Combat, Nuzzle, and Helping Hand to make me ride on to even more damage. Our final three Pokemon on today's team feature Incineroar, Whimscott, and Landorus. Incineroar there for Intimidates and Fake Outs. Wimscott's going to be there for Encores and Tailwinds, and Landorus is there for big time damage with that sheer force and life orb. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this me ride on and Paul Mott team. Before we get started with anything to do with match number one, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Chris. Thank you so much for watching the videos and thank you so much for sending me this team. Super excited to be using it. Hopefully we can grab ourselves at least a winning record. But we're going up against Kieran White here in match number one, leading me to believe this Tornadus has Snowscape to set the snow. They also have Urshfu, Incineroar, Dragonite, and last but not least, they do have Fluttermane. And one thing that stands out to me is no terrain control, which means Miradon can just come in here for the lead and we can really start to get after it. So I'm going to go Miradon and I'm also going to go Wimscott here. I think setting up a Tailwind is going to be massive. We can then discharge freely, pretty much pick up some big time damage. We'll bring Palmot in the back end and then last but not least, either Incineroar or Landris. And looking at their team, if I can outspeed with Lando, that could be big time for us. That could be big time for us considering we've got Earth Power, Sludge Bomb. We can do a lot. We can do a lot. And honestly, I'm just going to go Landris here. That's going to be your plan. We're just going to go into Whimsicott, we ride on, try to set up that Tailwind, and then hopefully our uh, Whimsicott just dies and we get out Palmot, start faking out, helping handing, all that good stuff. But if they do go into like Incineroar and they choose to fake out, I can always just Encore. Actually, I can't. Incineroar is a dark type, and we're Prankster. Alright, so we'll figure this out. I still like the Tailwind Speed Control here. So they're going to end up bleeding dun -dun -dun, Incineroar and Kira. Okay, that's fine. Um, I can't protect... I simply cannot protect. I do have Cobra Cloak, so I should be able to get off a free Tailwind, which could be lovely. Um, hmm. We do have Electric Chain, which is nice. Turbo Blade is going to fly here. And we're just going to go for a Discharge. We're going to Terrasalize here as well. The reason I say we're going to Terrasalize is because, one, I like the damage output. And two, I like the uh, getting rid of our Dragon typing because, obviously, they got Ice. So we're just going to go for Tailwind here. Nice, lovely Tailwind. If they fake out Wimscott, we got the Covert Cloak. That's going to be nice. Hopefully, they do fake out Wimscott, thinking that our Miraidon is going to protect. But the problem here is we cannot protect, right? We're sitting here with the uh, choice spec. So, again, hopefully, they just go after Wimscott. And we get off some discharges here. Maybe start getting some paralyzes. And kind of going from there. So, we're sitting here, probably a little scared. And if they ended up just faking out Miraidon and doing some damage, I mean, we should be fine. So out comes our Terra, going straight electric. We just don't really want to deal with those ice type moves, right? Or even a dragon type move. It's dragon and ice. So, electric neutralizes both of them. So we go into this electric uh, Terra type, put a little light bulb on our head. And he's just going to stick with the fake out into me right on slot. Obviously. Tailwind now flies. We got one got chilling here. And we're just swapping to Palmont here. We're swapping to Palma. He's going to go for a Blizzard here. And who's dodging it? We ride on dodge it. We love that. We love that. That's perfect. That's that's totally fine. I want it when it's kind of gone. I want the swap into Palma regardless. So now from here, we can just go into Palma. And I can fake out the Kirim here, right? I can just fake out Kirim. Start throwing discharges around. I could help hand boost. Might just help hand boost here. Because Kirim might just protect. Now we're just going to fake out. Actually, I could just close combat you. I got options. I got a lot of options here. I got a lot of options. I can skip the fake out. I can just go for close combat. Actually, I'd rather just go for close combat and cure him. If it protects, it protects. No big deal. Could end up going for a parting shot. I don't really know. I'm fine with this though, but I would love for Kirim just to stay on the field. 
us to drop this charge and a close combat get rid of it I'm all about it I'm all about it he ends up withdrawing Incineroar that's fine no protect from Kieran would be massive no protect from Kieran would be massive so they hard stop there they're gonna go into Fluttermane here Fluttermane's gonna photosynthesis boost that's fine I mean this charge might be able to KO you unless you're Sash actually no your booster energy this charge is gonna fly Palmot's gonna Volt Absorb up we have this electric terrain boost, we have stab boost, we have terror boost, we have choice specs boost, and we're dumping on Fluttermane. Now close combat can fly into Kyurem, and this should KO it. Stab, super effective, and it's like base 120. Fulmot finishing you off. Lovely, we love it. So now they have Fake Out ready to go yet again. No big deal. Uh, I think we just nuzzle a few of these Pokemon, and we just take some damage from Uriah. Because we do have Tail Move, which is good. We do have Tailwind. I could end up hard swapping me right on. That could be the play. I could just hard swap me right on because they're going to go into Tornadus and Sinnoh, which honestly isn't that big of a deal. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. These Pokemon aren't doing any crazy damage. I could hard swap Palmot here into Incineroar just so we can fake out next turn. Yeah, I'm cool with it. We're going to go into a discharge here. We're going to hard swap Palmot. Actually, I didn't bring Incineroar. Why I think we brought in Cinemar? I still have Focus Sash, so I'm just gonna do that. And I'm just gonna honestly just nuzzle this, uh, this is Cinemar. Just slow it down a little bit. He's gonna stick with the fake out into me right on. We're choosing to discharge right now. And he's not going for Tailwind? No, he doesn't go for Tailwind. So the nuzzle kind of put a nice little paralyze onto him. Cinemar. And what are you going for? Bleak Wind Storm? That's fine. I got Focus Sash, and Palmot dodged it anyway. The Palmot dodging, you're right on soaking it up, and this combo is working so well in match number one. You get a crit too. Now we'll just go for discharge, and I think from here we just go for helping hand. Let's boost the damage here. Let's boost it up. Let's boost it up. So looking for Terra, probably onto Tornadus, right? Yep. I still think you die here, Tornadus. Never mind, you're ground. What? The, what? What Tornadus rocks ground Terra type? It's like the first in forever. Of course, when I'm using my electric Pokemon, it's using it. But we go for a helping hand. This should probably dump on Incineroar too. Maybe, maybe not. Wouldn't be surprised if it does. And I still have Focus Ash, which is gorgeous. Which is lovely. And from here, Incineroar is going to take massive damage and just get dumped on. So that's pretty much game. We still have Tornadus in the back end. Not Tornadus, Slanderous. And we're sitting in a perfect position because Bleak Windstorm is going to do some damage. It's not going to KO any of my Pokemon. And from here, do we even outspeed this guy? And honestly, we should just hard swap me right on. We should hard swap me right on here because we can't really do much. So I'm just gonna go into gonna go into Lando. And if I can, I'd rather just go into close combat, do some damage because I have to reset our choice. I have to reset our choice. So Lando's gonna come out here. Palmot, can you outspeed? Get off some damage. Do awesome. You get off some damage before you go. Half damage, which is awesome. And Paul Mott's defense is going to drop. Probably going to go for another Bleak Wind Storm. And they do, and it's going to take out Paul Mott and do a nice chunk of damage to Lando. My speed's going to drop. Ooh, that could have been rough. That could have been real rough. If we didn't swap here, that could have been real rough. Because right now, it looks like... What's your speed? 205, yeah. I was going to say, it looks like... That third Tornadus outspeeds my Landorus. But if I didn't swap, nobody could outspeed it. And it could just land Bleak with Storms to take the win. But luckily, we did swap. We played it safe. Now my Mirai on outspeeds. I can go for an Earth Power here. And on top of that, I can go into Dragon Pulse to finish off this match. Luckily, you didn't set up a Tailwind either. That kind of bad news. Dragon Pulse now flies. We finish off this game. Solid first match showcasing Palmot and Mirai on. Hot start for your boy in match number one. We're now going up against a scissor team, which is actually funny because I was going to use a scissor team today. Don't worry, guys. For all you scissor fans, I will have a scissor video out this week, probably. Hopefully this week. We'll see. But um, we're also going up against Shadow Rider Calyx with Archiludon, Sinistra, Glamora, and last but not least, Urshfu. So Glamora scares me a little bit because of Meteor Beam. But one thing that stands out to me is speed control on this team. So I'm going to go into Whimsicott. For our lead tailwind should come out before bullet punch so if they just want to bullet punch our uh our whimsicott with scissor that's fine we should be able to get off the tailwind so i'm gonna do that and i think i'm just gonna go into me right on and palm on again something i really like they don't have terrain which is massive 
No terrain is massive, so I'm gonna go into both of them. And then last but not least, do we go into Lando or do we go into Incineroar? I mean, Incineroar could be very nice because it counters Shadow Rider Calyx pretty well, but I like Lando because of Archaluda, right? Hmm, what's my play here? What is my play? I'm gonna go Incineroar. We're not gonna bring the same exact squad. We're going Incineroar here. I like it up against Shadow Rider Calyx. We'll see if they even bring Archaluda. That's the thing, right? We know they're bringing the restricted Pokemon. Shadow Rider Calyx should be here, no doubt. We're not sure if they're bringing Arch Luda. It could be here, could not, but Shadow Rider Calyx, we have to always play like that thing's gonna be on the field. Considering it's just so strong. So let's see who they end up leading. They could lead Sinisha, and if they do lead Sinisha, we're not gonna pop a Tailwind because they can just pop a Trick Room. And they're gonna go into Glamora Arch Ludon. Glamora Arch Ludon. All right, not bad. Not bad. Meteor Beam looking a tad bit scary. Sludge Bomb also looking scary. But again, if I get off this Tailwind, I can really start getting after it. So I'm going to go Tailwind here. Um, Discharge seems nice. I'm going. I'm going. Terra Discharge here. I'm going for it. I would love to just dump on Glamora. Especially with the speed that we have. So we're just going to pop a Tailwind. We're going to do this. And we'll start chipping up some damage. Hopefully get some paralyzes too. That's what's good about this charge. The paralyze chance afterwards is pretty high. It's pretty high. So if we can pull off some nice paralyzes, that could also be good for the squad. So we'll hit that terror button again. Put the light bulb back on our boy's head. And Tailwind is going to fly. So if I had to guess, they're probably going for a uh, meteor beam. And I'm hoping this discharge could just take out Glamora. I know it's not going to take out Archer Lunan, but it should take out Glamora. Which it doesn't. Wow, that damage onto Archer Ludon is absurd and we get the paralyze yo this is going crazy he's going crazy he gets a stamina boost but i'm hoping they just go flash cannon and attack my one scott that would be ideal because then i could just get out palmot and this thing's paralyzed so i can't complain cannot complain wish i had my palmot out i would love to just go help again discharge here they could hard swap into palmot there's really no need to it i think we just start throwing moon blasts around here and it keeps spamming Discharge. I mean, if I spam Discharge here, I'm going to KO my Wimscott. Which I don't mind. I mean, Wimscott already did his job. Set up the Tailwind. That's pretty much why Wimscott's here. A few Encores. A little bit of Tailwind action. That's all it needs. I feel like that's the same thing with, like, Tornadoes. If you at least get off your Tailwind, I feel like that's, like... They did his job already. They did their job, right? You get off that Tailwind, they did their job. If you don't get off the Tailwind, it's like, oh, man. You didn't do your job. We're in a tough situation now, but once you get off Tailwind, you're like, okay, I, I'm, I'm satisfied with how that how that played out. Hopefully for at least me, but Urshfu is going to come out here. Um, is it Water Urshfu? It is not. It is not Water Urshfu. And from here, we're just going to simply throw a Moonblast in that slot. And guess what we're doing? Throwing another Discharge across the board. Lovely Discharge coming at you. Let's see what they end up doing. Maybe going for a Sucker Punch here? I, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what you're going for. I mean, Moonblast can do a nice chunk of damage. They're sitting here like, oh my lord, this Pokemon's about to rip up into me. I don't think they know what to do. I really don't think they know what to do. They're sitting here like, how do I escape this? I don't think they have a way. I really don't. I should have actually just hard swapped into Palmot this turn. This actually would have been a great turn because we do have the Focus Ash and we know we're KO and Arch Ludon. But this is fine. This charge is going to fly here. We are just going to get rid of everybody on the field. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone on the field. The ye old triple KO. Double on their side, one on the other side, and they just turn off their switch. I think they had enough for today. I would too. I would too. So there we go. 2 0 for today's video. One win and one rage quit. <laughs> we love it. Time for our final match, and we're going up against Kyogre. I definitely want to use Iron Leads in this matchup, considering we didn't use it in the last two. We've just been rocking out with me riding on Discharge, bringing in Palmont and Wimscott, and it's been working perfectly fine. But again, we're here to showcase Iron Leads a little bit, so I would definitely want to get out this Pokemon. They got Kyogre, they got Dragonite, Incineroar, Rollaboom, two great Pokemon, Raging Bull, and Urshfu. Now, this team looks like it's honestly going to be pretty hard. We have no way of weather control, but we do have way of speed control, which they do not have. So I think Web Sky is just going to be a solid lead for us. And we might want to set terrain turn one. Eh, I don't think we set it turn one. I think we kind of play it slow and bring Iron Leaves and we ride on in the back end. So I'm going to go Web Sky and I think I'm going to go Lando here. I think Lando could be good. I mean, if they do want to end up going into Kyogre, 
I mean, we could just trash slice into that poison terror type. And I like it. So, you know what? I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go Iron Leaves and Mirror Ride on. Yeah, I like it. Cool. So, that's going to be your play. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So, no Incineroar, no Palmot here, no fake out users, I should say. So, we have two fake out users on the team. We're not bringing one. They'll probably bring both and have two fake out users to our none. But. It's whatever. I think Iron Leaves could be great, especially in this terrain. Gets a nice little quick drive boost. I believe that should be in speed. And on top of that, that, that electricity is going to help us out tremendously. All right, so let's see who they end up leading here. I could see them just going straight for Kyogre. I wouldn't be surprised at that, right? Kyogre maybe Raging Bolt? No, Rollaboom and Dragonite. Rollaboom, Dragonite come out here. I got Sludge Bomb ready to rip. I got Sludge Bomb ready to rip. Do we think that this thing's rocking Ice Spinner? Maybe. For me, I'm just going to go Tailwind Protect. I mean, you can fake me out, but I'm just going to protect it. I am just going to protect. I got Cobra Cloak. I'd rather just set up Tailwind and have our boy here later. But honestly, I want to I want to go for a Sludge Bomb into Real Boom, but he's probably just hard swapping this thing either this turn or next turn. Nice protect the Lando here. Deal with Fake Out. I think the Fake Out should come into this slot, right? Yep. That's an easy read. That's an easy read, and hopefully Dragonite doubles down, maybe with Ice Spinner. What you rocking your Dragonite? What are you rocking your Dragonite? I'm curious to see. You going for Iron Head, okay. No big deal. So Wimscott's gonna be able to soak up that shot. We got a little bit of Tailwind action here. Um, I think we just rip a Moonblast. And to be honest, do we go for that Sludge Bomb? Who can they swap into to soak up the Sludge Bomb? Actually, a good bit. I think we still launch the Sludge Bomb. Or do we make the read go for Earth Power? We could go for the read and go for an earth power. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for the read here. I'm gonna go for the read here. Come on, man. Show me Incineroar. Show me Incineroar. Give it to me. Give it to me. Show me Incineroar. That's too easy. That's too easy. Come on, man. That's way too easy of a read. That's way too easy of a read. Come on, man. Let's go. What a read. Feels so good when you pull off something like that. Feels so good. Now we get a Moonblast launching into this Dragonite. Taking off Multi-Scale. There we go. That's big time. That's big time for us. Are you weakness policy? Oh, hold up. Yeah, slow down there, Mr. Weakness Policy guy. A big time reach for us to go into Earth Power there. The weakness policy, Iron Head, going to take us out. Um, I think that's so good about me right on here is I mean I can actually go into iron leaves first hmm might just go into me right on here no we're gonna go into you because I think Robum could come out here for a lead or come out here for the next Pokemon and if, if it is we might just swap into me right on Honestly, Dragonite's scaring me, but that read was big for us. You going back in Roll Boom? Hey, you end up going Kyogre here. Wow, so Mirana could have been great. So we got plenty of speed here. I mean, Leaf Boy definitely going to be our best friend. And if I can, I kind of just want to go for maybe like a Terra Sludge Bomb here. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Terra Sludge Bomb. Both these Pokemon are scaring me. So we have Iron Leaves out here. They still have Roll Boom in the back end. And we want to win this terrain war. Definitely want to win this terrain war. I love Discharge popping out onto every Pokemon besides Rule Boom, so. Having me ride in the back end is pretty nice. So here's Iron Leaves. We got speed right now. We got speed right now. We have Tailwind for a couple turns. Unless Kyogre's Choice Scarfed, I mean. Even if it's Choice Scarfed, I don't think it's outspeeding us in Tailwind. Let's see how this one plays. So out comes our terror from our Lando here. We just want to make sure Sludge Bomb does a lot of damage. And on top of that, get rid of our water weakness. And if they're not Terrasalizing Kyogre into a different typing, it might die out here. Yeah, no, they're Terrasalizing. Unless it's water. We can always hope that it's water. Now it's going to be Dragonite, so Kyogre might just die out here. Kyogre might just die out here. You end up going into... A wow, they make a good read on us. We could've just went for an Earth Power. Leaf Blade should KO you, to be honest. Yep, Iron Leaf's doing damage. Doing big time damage. 
Doing big time damage. And what are you going for here? Sludge Bomb's not going to affect this thing. What are you going for here? What you got cooking? Hurricane. Oh, yeah. We're dead to that. Bye bye you. Ionly's KO's Kyogre. That's a nice little trade. And now I can go into my Miraidon, which is good. We got some speed. A little, we got a little speed here. Not going to Miraidon. And I think I have the choice into... Actually, we don't get the terrain up. We don't get terrain up. They're just going to cancel out of terrain, which kind of sucks, man. This kind of sucks because we're just going to go Hadron Engine. And they're just going to take it right away. The Grassy Surge. So now they can fake out. Um, I feel like we have to go Electro Drift. Could go into Dragon Pulse, but I don't like it. We have to go Electro Drift. And we have to go Sludge Bomb. I could double down Dragonite. But I'm actually cool with this. Yeah, you guys are fake out into that slot. That's actually smart. And Electro Drift going to fly here. Electro Drift. How much damage are we doing? Not enough. Not enough. Now, you going for, like, Draco Meteor or something? Lando's going to flinch. He's going for Tailwind. Ooh. That's actually a great play for them. This Dragon is killing us. This Dragon is getting after us. My team's Tailwind's gone. Um... And I feel like we just have to go Electro Drift again and into Sludge Bomb. I think it's just simple. The Sludge Bomb should KO this, this rule, but no problem. Could be going for like high horsepower here too. This is a great matchup. This is a great third and final battle. Got oh, We got reeds going. I made a read. They made a read with that Seal Terror type. Kyogre getting one tapped. They got tail went up. This Dragonite's a problem, though. This weakness policy Dragonite is just giving us a tough time. Giving us a real tough time. Let's see what they end up doing here. Because, I mean, if they... Mm, I'm, I'm at full HP, and I think we can want that. He goes for E-Speed, which we survive. That's good news. He goes for Woodhammer here, too, and we should honestly survive both these, right? Yeah, that should be game. That should be game. Okay, cool. Everything works out in our favor. Electro Drift's going to finish off the Dragonite. Sludge Bomb going to finish off Roboom. And we grab ourselves a 3-0 perfect record. Let's go. Let's go. This team was a lot of fun to use. Iron Leaves got some love in match number 3. Paul Mott being used in match number 1. I don't think we used it in match number 2. But we brought it in match number 2. But now comes our final Sludge Bomb. Lando with that Poison Terror. Going to say Night Night. And the play of the game was obviously that Earth Power read into Incineroar. We love it. We love it so much. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Add another perfect record onto the channel. Killed it today. Going 3 0 with me, Ride on Iron Leaves and Palmite. Iron Leaves doing crazy damage onto that Kyogre in match number 3. And Palmite just being an absolute dog with close combat, nuzzles, fake outs, and helping hands. But, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.